Balishina. Yes, you can talk to the doctor now. Is Sasha conscious? She's still under anesthesia. Her arms and ribs will heal, and she has a mild concussion. Her internal organs? Tell me, has Sasha ever complained about her health before? Lack of appetite, vomiting? No, nothing like that. Your daughter might have fainted while driving. She's bleeding from the esophagus and stomach. Because of what? Let's just wait for the test results. She was completely healthy. There are asymptomatic diseases. Give us a few minutes, please. You can speak in my presence. Nana, leave. Sasha. Daughter. Daughter, wake up. Daughter. Daughter. Wake up. Can you hear me? Where am I? Don't worry, I'm with you. Who are you? I'll come get you soon. Sasha, 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 sweetie. That's it, all right. Wake up. Mom. Shh, shh, shh. Take your time, you just woke up. Uh, where's the girl? I'm here. The other. There was no one else. You were dreaming. Call my mom. Okay, right after the doctor's exam. What did he say? She had drugs in her blood. Oh God. I knew it would end like this. Our daughter almost died, she's unconscious, don't you care? Hello. Hello, Teamer. How's Sasha? Still unclear. Why do you come? I saw it on the news. Thought maybe I could help. Contact Sotnik. Tell him Sasha fainted while driving. There's no diagnosis yet, but the prognosis is pretty bad. Let them open up a case for the press there. You know, a distraction. Are you coming? No, I'm staying. Andre's right. You need to rest. What kind of mom am I? It's not your fault. All my life I've tried to protect her from bad things, and she protected herself from me. Don't blame yourself for anything. You know nothing about me. Well, then tell me. How can you help me? We're nobody to each other. And you made that choice. Am I wrong? And I don't need your help. Nana, I'm really sorry about your daughter. Take care.
I'm supposed to start work on Monday. I was stunned. It's okay, we'll settle in as we go. The room is small, but it's got everything. Even a fridge. Come on, help me. Is this yours? Let's leave it, buy one there. Nah, nah. Wake up. You're now the fiancé of the prosecutor's office assistant investigator. What about the internship? Uh, don't worry. I've solved everything. We'll transfer you to the district hospital. Teamer, I work in surgery. Uh, we'll figure something out. Nana, the main thing is we're together. And I finally have a job. Why do we have to go anywhere? We have everything here. But I don't. Look, Sergei Sotnik, he's been working here for six months, and you could too. <sighs> yeah? The Voloshans placed him. Well, they'll help you too. Ask Andre. Tell me, why should I ask someone when I can do it myself? Yes, it's more complicated. Yes, not all at once. But it's the right thing. For who? You? Have you thought about me? Have I spent years studying just to work in a district <sighs> hospital? They need good doctors there too. What makes you think I don't care who or where I work? <sighs> No, that's not what I meant. What then? <sighs> Teamer, Tim. <sighs> Nana. I want a family with you. Me too. But do I have to sacrifice <sighs> my dreams for yours? I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. No, you don't have to sacrifice. Is it possible to be happy without sacrifice? It's possible, and certainly possible. That's the way it'll be. Why don't? Why don't I go by myself? And you can join me later. No. You'll be there later. No. No, I don't want to be without okay, you. Okay, okay, calm down. <gasps> shh, 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 shh. <gasps> Hello? Your daughter's awake. You can come in. <sighs> Thank you. I'm coming. Sweetie, my darling. Mom, don't cry. I won't. What happened? I don't remember anything. The doctor said your blood had. Mom, I'm not a junkie. Promise me you'll stop it. And you promise you'll leave him? See, why should I promise you anything? The daughter of Prosecutor Andre Valishin lost control of her car and it went off the road. Alexandra Valishina is currently hospitalized and she has undergone surgery. Police did not confirm any alcohol or drug content in the blood. Other samples of the driver's biomaterials are also being tested now. Nastia, please put the toys in the bag. Yeah? Not yet. I'll tell him. I'm checking it. Good morning. Are you here on a personal or business matter? Nastia. Sergey isn't here yet. Do you want him to sign something? You can leave it. I'll bring it to you later. No, tell him I'll be here in the afternoon. If he asks. Mom, I'm hungry. <sighs> I'm sorry, the babysitter's sick. School's quarantine. Grandma's picking them up now. This is Maya. What's your girl's name? Whose? Do you have a daughter? What's her name? Lisa. 
like Maya's name better. Nastia. You have a lovely name, too. I'll pay you back for my freedom. I can't solve everything. The prosecutor's office will reopen the case. You have to deal with them. My father plowed this land. We've been riding a tractor in the swamp since we were ten years old. Sergei, have you forgotten? It's my land. I didn't steal it. Your guys, in armor with AKs, were shooting people. Right off the harvest. Then how do I protect my land? How do I protect my children? Stepan. Not like that. Sergei, look at me. What am I? A millionaire? A billionaire? I am a simple laborer on my own land. And who are they? Who? They've got hundreds of thousands of acres of land all over the country, and they're covered from the top. You won't survive. If they come to take the land, I'll shoot them all. And then I'll shoot myself. I'm here. Have a seat. Can I ask you a few questions? Lisa, I have an appointment. Can we do general anesthesia? But you won't feel anything. How would you know? From experience? Except for this. Well, don't worry, Lisa. The nurse will inject you. I'll be with you in half an hour. Here on business? <laughs> Not only that, we were gonna meet. So listen here, as a friend, stay out of Voloshin's shit. They're playing with you. They're not. You sure? And the day before, four o'clock in the morning? Did you deal with the patrol officers? Look, I couldn't say no to Nana. Even better. His daughter was caught driving drunk yesterday. Today they found a dope in her car. Why did you go deal with his issues? He's just a prosecutor, but no. And here the kingdom has taken over and they're skimming the cream. I don't mind. Let them eat, just not me. Sergey, what happened? <sighs> Stepan Zaruba, my childhood friend. He became a farmer, adopted some orphans. Raiders are taking the land. The prosecutor's office is covering it up. They want to put Stepan in jail to shut his mouth. What's this? A sedative. Take it away. Your heart. Everybody has a heart. Andre's bothering me. He didn't consult. He's complicating things with Sotnik. Why did you push him into that chair? None of your business but I can say what I think. No, not if it's about my son. Okay, hold it, hold it. You'll feel a little dizzy. You lie down, 
and I'll come get you in a half an hour. Don't stand up. Don't stand up. What do you want? Step aside. I'm going home. You can't go anywhere Don't right now. Don't touch me. She already has facial features. Do you understand? Should I call a priest? Ah, oh. no, no need. Why don't you write a prayer for health? I'll just sit here. Did you come to confess? To talk. She won't forgive me. He forgives everyone. He does. But she won't. My daughter. Parenting is not always a joy. It's often a heavy burden. Father. I'm a murderer. Well, we're all murderers of our souls and serve our punishments in the body. The imprisonment of the soul, in atonement for sins. I can't live with this guilt. <laughs> Ask him. He will lighten your burden. I do. So? Let's talk in your office. A bit later. It's not a work thing, it's a personal thing. Okay, let's go. What's that? I'm leaving Andre. Does he know about it? And you're still alive? I'm still alive.
I couldn't get an abortion. I'm gonna be a bad mom. There are no good ones. And you? I failed to become a good mother. I envy you. Why? You carry your child under your heart. Excuse me. Hello? Nana? That's me. Can you come to the hospital right now? Is there a problem? Don't worry, your daughter is still the same. It's just the doctor wants to discuss the test results. Andre, you've had several calls from your father and your wife from the hospital, and reports have been calling all day long. Your father and Sotnik worked it out. Okay. What else? Sergey and I talked about Zaruba. He sees it differently. You're mistaken. Andre, don't make him choose. He and Zaruba grew up together. There's a lot you don't know. Sergey will never put Zaruba in jail. They're friends. Then he'll lose his seat. You think I want this? Don't you know how this system works? I know. But you don't always have to blindly obey the system. Sometimes you can break it. The supervisor of criminal proceedings is you. If he doesn't put him away, then you will have to. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm Nana. Gennady. Nice to meet you. You too. Have a seat, please. Thanks. Where's Andre? At work. What's happening with Sasha? Portal hypertension syndrome. For an accurate diagnosis, we need to do a liver biopsy. Does she need surgery? It's possible. Portal hypertension is caused by cirrhosis, and I suspect third-degree hepatic fibrosis. Uh, what's the worst possible scenario? A transplant. Give me something for nausea. Why aren't you working? I'm not feeling well. Mm. No wonder. Really? Lisa. Yesterday, I was ashamed of you. Do you really think he's going to marry you? I don't think so. I know it. He's had you on a short leash for 30 years. He was married. Yeah, but he's been a widower for five years. You should take care of yourself. Is it serious with Bogorlov or the usual? The second one. Bogorlov is a good match. And your dad agrees with me. Two weddings on the same day, huh, Mom? When are you going to stop, Lisa? And why? It's time to have a baby. If you lose him, you're a fool. I'll think on it. Hi there. What's wrong with me? It's not a big deal. You went off the road. Got a fracture. Then why did I swallow a hose? 
They were seeing what you ate at the restaurant. Mom's crying. The doctors don't say anything. Am I dying? Bite your tongue. Did you see him? Is he angry? Well, you did your best. I wasn't... Listen, I'm on your side. But you can't risk the family's reputation. And reconcile with your father. Has he reconciled with you? Let me see that. I'll take it. Get some rest. He said I'm not his daughter. Then he's not my son. Do you know why my grandmother married my grandfather? To piss off her father. He turned out to be trickier. Made friends with his son-in-law. And organized an alliance against his daughter. <laughs> Yeah? Did you call? Yeah. Let's have dinner tonight. I'm sorry, I can't tonight. Some other time. Then let's do it tomorrow. As friends. Fine. Okay, see you then. What do you need Pogrella for, huh? Uh. I want to get married. He's an avid bachelor. We'll see. Uh. Uh. I'm not enough. Oh, wow. Well, you're not marrying me. Well, you'll be bored. There. Uh. Maybe I want to be bored. Uh. You won't get anywhere, Teamer. <laughs> Are you jealous? Do you love me? And how did your grandmother's story end? <sighs> mm. With my mom's birth. But not from my grandfather. I called you. I was working. Want to drink? You're in trouble. I've got everything under control. Who's control? Don't talk to me like that. Your daughter's in the hospital. And you will do whatever it takes to get her back on her feet. That's one. Two, it seems you may not be able to handle this position. And third? Drinking and going to whores doesn't make you like me. Answer the phone. 
I'm not you. This is my office and my life, and you have nothing to do with it anymore. Say that again? I'm the prosecutor. Nana wants to leave Andre. For who? Are you kidding? She's never had anyone but him. She will. She's a beautiful woman. Say that again? Maybe she already does. And your Pogorolov, by the way, was crazy about her when he was young. Hmm. Really? So what happened? You can ask him tomorrow. Babe. I don't want to share you with anyone. Same here. It's complicated. It's as simple as that. Is there anything else you wanted to tell me? No. Just the story about my grandmother. What should we do now? You need to prepare for a liver transplant. Who could be a donor? A genetic relative under 55 years of age. What if we don't fit? Siblings, aunts, uncles? They need to be examined, and if the indicators match, then... And what if no one from the family fits? It can be received from a deceased donor, but people wait for years for liver and kidney transplants. In Europe, of course, the chances would be higher. Go get a checkup. If there are no contraindications, then... I'm sorry. Can you not get hysterical in public? It's payback. We'll find a donor. We need a relative, a relative. There isn't one. What if there is? We could find... The father. You're out of your mind. Maybe I am. Don't draw attention to our family. We don't have one. I forbid you. I'll tell Sasha the truth. Will you? I will. Truth breeds hate. Are you ready for that? You didn't even visit her. I'm late for work. Nana. How do you know my name? Uh, the first name on the prayer for health is Sasha, so it's your daughter. And you wrote yours at the very end. Oh, yes. I've been thinking about your fear. Don't expect forgiveness. And reveal your secret to your daughter. Thank you. A 
the number of crimes related to drug trafficking decreased by 20 percent. Lisa, please mention in your media report all of our success stories for this quarter. If there are no other questions, you can continue with your duties. Sergey. Yes. There's a new request from Central Television. They're asking for a comment about the accident with the prosecutor's daughter. Hmm. Can you handle it without me? Do you trust me? Hmm. Especially in bed. Go out to the press. After Zaruba's case, they're on your side. Don't hide. Okay, I'll think about it. We're nobody to each other. And you made that choice. Am I wrong? And I don't need your help. Hello, Lisa. Are you late? Sorry, I'll be there in a half an hour. Why don't we order dinner at my place? No. I don't like to change my plans. Too bad. I'm waiting. Bye. Nana! Mrs. Maria, good afternoon. Why didn't you call me? Well, things happened. Okay, groceries? Maria, who's there? My granddaughter. Recognize me? You forgot me. Grandma, in three days? It's been four. And I told you to move in with me. We'd be together every day. I want to die in my own house. 
doing mischief. Read it. Out loud. Hello, Mom. I got your letter. And I'm writing back. We've got the same old routine. Work, household chores. We're not sick, thank God. Maybe we'll come in the summer. Plane tickets are expensive, you know. Say hello to Nana and my granddaughter, Sasha. Love you, your daughter, Nina. Here. Money for my granddaughter. I dictated the response to Maria. You'll send it along with the money for the ticket. Okay. God willing. I'll wait for Nina. And why didn't Sasha come? Ugh. Grandma, it's school, you know? I brought you your favorite marshmallows. You're upset. No. No, of course not. You're lying. I can tell. Nana, what about the letter? Throw it away. I'll bring the reply next time. Although... Couldn't you write it yourself? It's hard to see her waiting for her for so many years. Why don't you call her? The last time I saw my mom was at graduation. Good evening. Evening. Lisa? Evening. It's sudden, isn't it? Are you leaving already? Pity. We could have had dinner together, got acquainted. I'm Andre's sister. I know. Angela. Nice to meet you. I'll go check if there's a table available. Goodbye. Get into the car. See you soon. And our daddy? Shut up. He's not aware of it. It's none of your business. What did you promise her? Look, she's got more rights than you do. I doubt that. The same blood flows here as yours. And here? There's nothing sacred. See you, brother. Did you order? Only wine. Thanks, I'm not drinking tonight. Tell me, how do you like working with Andre? I haven't decided yet. 
Are you still friends? Lisa, is there something you want to ask me? Is it true that Andre stole Nana from you? Stole? I'm the one who left. Everyone got their own life. And now things could be different? It could be. I don't regret anything. You might not. But I think Nana does. Knock, knock, knock. They let you come so late? Mm-hmm. I've arranged to stay with you tonight. Really? Uh-huh. I brought you some goodies for breakfast. Everything you can eat. Mom, what's the survival rate for my diagnosis? 100%. What if I Google it? That's useless. It's all individual. Are we the same blood type? Yes. You'll be at the donor? That's the only thing I want. But we have different DNA. How's that? It happened. You are my child. That will never change. Sasha. I didn't give birth to you. Then, who did? Another mom. She's dead. <laughs>